Well, I'm pleased to introduce Yetna Bursh Nigusi, and I hope I've said your name right there, with us from Nairobi. She is the Inclusion Advisor at Light for the World, an international disability and development NGO. And the reason we've got you with us, one, obviously you're a woman, two, uh, you are blind as well, and you are, I believe, the recipient of the Spirit of Helen Keller Award for what you're doing for women uh, with disabilities. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, how does it feel to be recognised like that? Thank you very much. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it's really a great honour and how, uh, uh, I'm so humbled that this is coming at uh, the perfect time. As we know, Helen Killer sets a very good example of a woman who has been persistent, always challenging the challenge that she faced in all her time. So she's always been my inspiration. So getting this award would mean uh, kind of standing in solidarity with all women and in particular those amazing women who have excelled their challenge and make opportunities out of them. So yeah, the Spirit of Helen Killer Award mm. comes in time to give me more responsibility and accomplish better for all women with disabilities in the world. What sort of progress do you feel you're making? Obviously, issues to do with women at the moment, things like the Me Too movement, sexual harassment, they have all of this uh, impetus behind it at the moment. For you, women with disabilities, how much progress do you feel you're making and what more do you, do you need to make more of an impact? I think the progress in terms of women with disabilities is quite slow and we still see that women with disabilities are not part of such huge movements including um, a lot of them like he for she and others so we really uh, want to call upon mainstream gender movements to take into consideration the contributions that women with different kinds of disabilities from all over the world can make and uh, I think for that we really need to do a uh, um, recognition and that's why we are today in the meantime launching a global award for, for, for the first time for all women with disabilities for achievers who have done uh, very good jobs in different fields like health education arts and culture so i think we need to uh, recognize that women with disabilities are not only with disabilities that's why we have named our award in lights for the world her abilities mm -hmm. so i call upon all uh, women uh, movements mainstream gender movements to count on our abilities not on our disabilities and mm. make us part of the overall movement going on and what about International Women's Day itself? We sort of had some discussions ourselves thinking it is one day uh, where obviously there's a lot of publicity and there's a lot of exposure on things like social media, but obviously one day doesn't change everything. But do you feel there is benefit in having a day like this? Well, it's a mark, it's a benchmark. I mean, it's a benchmark to think, and it's not just a, a, a coincidental. It was for a reason that this day was dedicated for women. But it doesn't mean that the rest of the days doesn't belong to women. What we have to do is, when we talk about internet education, we have to think about education of girls with, the, with and without disabilities. When we talk about uh, poverty, we have to think about poverty, the situation of poverty of women. So I think, we have to just uh, uh, twist our minds to think in a gender lens whenever we talk about humanity, human mm. being, environment, climate change, everything affects women. So it's about uh, the, the, the shift that we need to bring. We need to genderize the issues that we talk about throughout the year. Otherwise, I believe that this day is needed because mm. it came from a history, as you mentioned a while ago. Yetnabersh Negusi, the recipient of the 2018 Spirit of Helen Keller Award. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you.